Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we are going to be starting a new mini series on Susie. And Susie is a grid, um, I guess you could call it a grid framework, but it's really a grid extension for SAS that allows you to build really awesome configurable grids. And if you watch the Singularity videos, you might notice some similarities between the two. Uh, or if you're new to SAS grids in general and you've only used things like the 960 grid or something like that, um, it could be a totally different concept for you. In fact, uh, it, it is a very different at the start um, because with those other grid styles, you're actually putting things in your HTML like a class that says like, uh, you know, call one through three or something like that. With Suzy and other similar frameworks, you're actually writing all of your grid stuff in your CSS or your SAS, right? So through mixins, you're telling divs and areas and stuff to span columns and things like that. Now, if you're not used to this, it could be very foreign. However, I think after a very short time, you're gonna see just how awesome it is and how flexible and configurable these grids are. So we're gonna be using the latest version of Suzy, which is version 2.0. Oh, and um, Suzy has a new website, a new version, and it has a new way of doing things. So I think now is an appropriate time to start the Suzy series and kick it off. So what we're gonna do in this video is set up a basic project. I've gone ahead and downloaded uh, just a really basic HTML5 boilerplate site, right? So HTML5 boilerplate, I created an SCSS folder and I made a main.scss file. And that's really all I did. Um, actually, I made some additions to the HTML, and this just contains a main area um, and then an aside with an unordered list. So that here we have our page right here, and you can see it's page content and then a sidebar. So nothing crazy, uh, by all means, nothing that is you know, really taking the process of starting this. So what we need to do uh, to get started is first we need to install Suzy, then we need to uh, use it in a config RB file that you may or may not be familiar with. It's okay, we'll go over that, and then we'll get ready using Suzy. So what we need to make sure you have done first is installed Suzy, and since we wanna be using the latest version, you have to have this pre-tag. So we want to install this. I'm going to type sudo gem install suzy, it's S-U-S-Y, and then hyphen hyphen pre. What the flag of pre does is it makes sure that we are grid we're getting the uh, latest version suzy2 rather than suzy1. If you were to leave off the pre, you'd be getting suzy1, and then you wouldn't be able to follow along with these videos. So make sure it says pre. It's going to ask you for your password and then you can go ahead and download it. Now this video series does assume that you have worked with SAS and Compass, so if you haven't, go check out those videos and learn a little bit about SAS and Compass first and then come back and you can get started using Suzy. Now this is just gonna take a second, don't worry, and then once it's done downloading, I will come back. Okay, so our gem is installed and we're ready to go. The next step, is going to be adding Suzy to our project. Now, you could do this with a compass command, that's compass create your project's name and then uh, hyphen r, Suzy, hyphen u, Suzy. However, I really think it's important to get into these config.rb files and really understand what's going on. And we did this a little bit in the singularity video, so we're going to do it here as well. And now I'm gonna right click on my Suzy folder and in the root of my project, uh, I'm going to create a new file and that's going to be my config config.rb and this is a Ruby file but don't worry you don't have to know much Ruby to get this going and I'm going to paste in here uh, a config.rb file that I have used in the past. Now, this is really just setting up our compass settings, right? So that compass sort of knows what to do. Um, and SAS, well, when you're telling compass watch that it knows what to do, where to find everything. Um, so project type is standalone. 
I noticed how there's a, a colon before here. I can actually just paste uh, my config.rb into the description so you can have that. Now HTTP path is just going to be a forward slash. Now SAS directory uh, is not SAS. I have our SAS files located in an SCSS folder. I feel like I need to standardize how I do that. Um, and then CSS is in the CSS folder. Images is an IMG. Fonts, there is no fonts yet, but if they will be, they'll be in a fonts folder. JS is in a JS. Line comments, false. Preferred syntax is colon dot s or colon scss rather than the sas syntax if you need to know what the differences are you can always check out sas's website for that output style is expanded um, we could change this to compressed if we were going to production or something like that and relative assets is true so now this is nothing special in fact if we were to just you know use this as is it would be a pretty standard config.rb but what we need now is we need to require an extension, right? So to require something, all we have to type is require and then space and then in quotes, Susie. That's it. And that's pretty cool. Now we don't really have to do anything extra except for import it into our SAS style sheet. So let's close out of that. And the first line on our main.css can be import and then in quotes, Susie, and then a semicolon. Now we simply just need to start our compass by telling our current directory, which is the base directory of our site, um, to compass watch, like I'm sure you're used to by now. So we're gonna say compass watch. Now I'm getting an error and I'm pretty sure this is a compass error. I found on Stack Overflow that uh, basically, um, People can get this working simply by having it say sudo and then compass watch. So if you see an error like this that's telling you the permissions denied, just do sudo compass watch. Um, and I think it might be an issue. I'm on the latest versions of everything. Also, if you're getting also if you're getting a different error, just upgrade your versions and hopefully that can, uh, can solve it. So I'll go ahead and make an update to this once uh, that of course is looking like the situation is resolved. But for now, sudo compass watch is working fine and it looks like it's watching for changes. Now we can say something like body um, background and then I'll give it a background of just slightly not uh, white, so maybe like E E E. Now let's come to our site. We refresh, we have a gray background, and Compass is clearly compiling. Let's check out our main.css. Here it is. Cool. So we now, even though we're not doing anything with Susie, we have it up and running. So that's awesome. We have Compass up and running, we're importing Susie, and everything is great. In the next video, we're going to talk about using Suzy's functionality to start building out a basic grid. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.